Well, an exhibit in Gaffney titled 1968, the year that shocked the nation, is on display for Black History Month. Now, one of the tragedies detailed is the Orangeburg Massacre that happened 55 years ago this month. Fox Carolina's Ashley Garrett takes a closer look. They wanted to go bold and they was not allowed to because it was a white only premises. Students at South Carolina State held a protest on campus soon after chaos. Shooting in the crowd and they killed uh, two state students and one local high school student. The victims, Henry Smith, Samuel Hammond Jr. and Delano Middleton, all shot and killed by South Carolina Highway Patrolmen. Almost 30 others also hurt. I can remember every moment, every face, every day. Cecil Williams capturing these photos at the bowling alley just moments before the tragedy. I can remember being so afraid. Patsy Eady, a friend of one victim, Samuel, in her dorm room. Wanting to be home with my family, but afraid for my family to come and get me. Now remembering the massacre 55 years later, and in 2023, with cases like Tyree Nichols, Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, and more, for some, the question still remains. The question is still there. How far have we come? You know, it almost seems like we are, we're taking steps forward, but we're taking steps backward. One way to progress, showing kids the way. If we don't do what we need to do to help them, how are they going to lead when we are no longer leaders? So education is the key. Ashley Garrett, Fox Carolina News. Well, you too can honor their memory by going to the Black History exhibit in Gaffney at the old post office that runs until March 3rd.